hello everyone in this video i'm going to demonstrate an oryx script made by matrix dj96 from maze developers forums that helps you oryx your custom rom with a simple command you basically need to flash a zip file first that will push the script into your phone as well as the terminal app which we're going to be using later and before we go any further i'm just going to explain to you the difference between oryx and the oryx for those of you who are wondering now in uh, in, in a few words the Oryx files are a collection of parts that optimize the app before booting. By doing so, it speeds up the boot process as it preloads part of an application. The downside of an Oryx ROM is that you cannot modify it as easy as you do it at the Oryx ROM. Oryx in your ROM may also free up some more space. So there you have it. These are the upsides and downsides of using an Oryx ROM. So now I guess it's time to flash the script, but first of all, I'm just going to show you that currently I'm using a, the Oryx ROM. As you can see, they are not, there is not a single Oryx file in here. And you also need to have a rooted phone for in order to have this to work perfectly fine. So download the zip out your SD card and power off your phone. The next step is to boot into recovery mode. So hold the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. You should boot up into recovery mode. Now from here I would advise you to use Coco Mode Recovery. So choose a plug that from SD card and flash the CWM zip file which you have on your phone. If you don't have it, you can download it from the link in the video description. So once you download the zip file, the next step is to basically head into install zip from SD card, then choose it from SD card, and now locate the script zip file, which is UOS version, whatever you download. And uh, choose yes to confirm. It should install within a few seconds. And there you have it go back and reboot your phone you now have the script inside your phone and you also have the terminal app on your app drawer so i'm just gonna skip to when my phone will boot up completely and okay we are back and as you can see there should be a terminal emulator app on your app drawer simply open it up and uh, type in su you get a pop-up to give super user access so just allow it once you have typed that you may now type in dxo minus h which will give you a list of available commands which you can use now in my case i'm gonna oryx the complete rom absolutely everything so in that case you need to type in dxo minus ow please note that this requires quite a lot of free internal memory in the system partition so i would highly recommend to use this option only on roms which have bloatware removed in my case i have 78 megabytes free which should be enough for me to perform this command so once it, you type it in enter it as you can see it begins oryxing so just like how you wait for your phone to be deoryxed you need to wait for your phone to be oryxed so i'm just gonna skip to when the process is finished and we're gonna see how the phone will put up how it will react and so on so once the process ends, the terminal emulator may close and you might also lose your status bar and stuff such as that, but do not panic. Also, if you're on a custom ROM, a custom launcher, such as Holo Launcher, your dock icons may also disappear, but do not worry, absolutely everything is in its place, as you can see. All of the apps are here. And to actually, to fix all of this, just reboot your phone and everything should be back to normal and as you can see enormous free space at the moment now let's take a look and see if we have those oryx files in the system partition let us set it to system then app as you can see we have oryx everywhere and i suppose the last test would be to see if system apps are working just fine it's just contacts okay they managed to open up as you can see settings so yeah the phone acts quite smooth at the moment, really nice. As you can see, we successfully oryx back our custom ROM. So that is all everyone, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.